Well, let's, let's talk about why we're here today. We're making a new video uh, because of a situation I recently found myself in and I needed to find a solution to a problem. Let's discuss the problem. So the other day I was riding home. I've been commuting to work on my motorcycle a lot recently and I, I left work really horny. And then when I got home from work, I was only half as horny. And as a guy, you know, who is basically defined by how horny I am at all times, that was a problem. So I had to do something about it, right? These um, are from Helmet Flare, and they have horns, they have cat ears, big horns, small horns, you name it. These are the ones I picked up. And they're not cheap, so you don't want to lose them all the time. Especially, it was like two weeks. It took me two weeks to lose one of these. Now, I'm surprised how well they hang on there, but obviously it can be lost. They have a pretty big Facebook presence, and I, I messaged, what didn't message them, I commented on one of their posts saying, you know, someone asked a question like, hey, are, are these gonna stay on on the interstate? And I commented, I was like, I lost one in two weeks. So they hang on pretty good, but yes, they can fly off. And, and to that, the actual owner, whoever runs their Facebook, he commented to me and said, hey, message me on our website. We have something for people like you <laughs> who want to go zoomy. Um, and basically it is some double sided adhesive pads that they would stick on with and that would keep them from flying off. But then the problem is they're, they're no longer removable. And that's kind of the entire reason I got these is because when I want to be stupid, I can go out and ride and look weird, you know, but when I want to go somewhere professional, say I'm riding into uh, the courtroom, maybe take them off. Right? So I did have a solution. I spent the last two weeks measuring, sourcing, and figuring out what I want to do. And let me show you the outcome, right? On, on this side is the original horn and the original magnetic attachment. I want you to see how much effort that takes to dislodge, disconnect. It's not very much. You can pull it straight off really easy. And if you pull it off at an angle, I mean, a pinky is more than all it takes. On this side, is my improved version which is got enough magnetic force to pick up the entire helmet so it's still detachable but it will never come flying off again so that's what we're doing in this video i'm going to go over what i did to accomplish this the parts list is in the description so if you're impatient and you don't want to watch the entire video you can just go to the description find the parts click the links buy the stuff but yeah, it was a matter of measuring these out with calipers, looking online for suitable replacements and buying a bunch of different stuff and trying it out. So I've gone through like four iterations already before I finally came to the final version, which is what I'm sharing with you guys. So I need to take this one off because this is actually like version number two. The final version is on my other helmet. Let me go grab it real quick and I'll show you some footage behind the scenes here. All right, so I, I just finished working on my white helmet and this is actually the final version of everything. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. At the base, these are epoxy coated magnets. So they're gonna hold up to the elements. They're gonna be water resistant. And I got a new thinner adhesive under here. I got down to like the micro millimeter of clearance so that it's the most seamless installation possible. So these barely stick off the helmet about half the distance that the original ones do while being you know, several times stronger with their adhesive uh, to both the horn or to the helmet. Okay, maybe I can explain things a little bit better now. So this helmet is done on both sides. It's got the new magnets on it with the new smaller adhesive. This helmet still has one of the original nubs and has one of the new magnets but with the thicker adhesive. I didn't realize that I could find a thinner one than this and while this works just fine, uh, the thinner stuff works. It makes it even more streamlined. So these barely show up. I mean if you look at it, that's a one eighth of an inch and these are more like one quarter of an inch the stock ones so uh, to make up the distance in the horn we put a 1 16th inch magnet inside of it and so in the link you'll find a 1 16th magnet with adhesive already on it and you just stick that in there make sure that when you do this you uh, match up the poles if you're familiar with magnets you got north and south poles the best thing to do is to take one of your original nubs and put your magnets near it and see if they're trying to push away or pull towards it. When they're trying to pull towards, 
that's the angle you want to go with. So if this is the magnet that's going to stick to the helmet, then that's the direction you want to put it inside of the horn, right? That way it's always in the same direction and you don't have a weird setup where you have to put one on one side and one on the other side because they have opposite poles. The other magnet we need is these guys right here. These are the one uh, eighth inch black epoxy magnets. So they've got an epoxy coating on them which makes them a little bit more resilient to damage since they'll be moving back and forth and having things get on top of them and be in the weather. I also tried some other magnets. Um, I, I spent like four different weeks of collecting magnets to figure out the right size, the right strength. Basically the N42 magnets we were replacing with N52, I want to say. So they're stronger magnets. And we made a couple of uh, really important fixes. What pulls to a magnet stronger than metal? Because magnets will stick to metal. Another magnet. If you didn't know, I don't have something metal on me right now. but. The original horns just have a piece of metal inside of them and now we're replacing that inside metal with a magnetic shim so it's magnet to magnet so there's a, a lot more strength in that connection because we have a magnet inside of here now that's one improvement second is the strength of the magnets like we just talked about third is the fact that it's lower profile so it's stronger more aesthetic and here's the other big benefit uh let's find the old horn. This is one of the new ones. All right, I want to show you another benefit of having it set up with this new setup. My new helmet and my new camera, the camera I'm wearing right now to record this, got dropped on the floor one day in the garage because I was coming in here and normally I put my helmet on my seat. And um, unfortunately, when I took my horns off, because when I put the helmet upside down to get it on, you have to take these off, which is one reason that permanently attaching them was not a solution. So I try putting the horns up here and they want to slide off my bike, right? Cause it's slick. So I put the horns here instead and then I put my helmet there. And then when I put my jacket on, I knocked over my helmet and my new camera and it fell on the floor. So we fixed it now because here is the old horn. This is the one that comes with the product when you buy it. And here's our improved version of the horn. And there's just enough magnetism that you can actually stick it to something now. So now I can just put my horns right here, you know, anywhere there's metal, right there on the tank, get my helmet on, and then once I got my helmet on, just click, put them on. So <laughs> kind of an un unexpected benefit that makes it awesome. Same thing as we'll attach to the fridge and the, the kitchen if you want to keep your your entire assortment of helmet decorations on your uh, refrigerator and grab what you want when you leave, they'll stick to a fridge now. So pretty cool little extra benefit. All right, so let's talk production. So th this is the regular horn, the upgraded horn, one magnetic, one knot, by shimming it with one of these. And then the black magnets replace these nubbins. We need to get this old one off the helmet. I did this uh, on the other side already and just using some Floss was how I did it. So we'll see if that works again. Just get it under there and kind of pull it through. And there we go. So I, I doubt you'll see this on the action camera, but you'll notice the entire adhesive that it comes with wasn't used. You can see where it was connected and where it's still flat and smooth, where it was never compressed. And that's a weakness of the original design. To make it more aesthetic, the adhesive goes inside of this, what they call a nubbin, making it almost completely flat. So if you push this on a flat surface, you can't get the adhesive to connect. One of the things that we're doing with our version of it is we're putting the adhesive on the bottom of a magnet and that's not inset. So the entire adhesive makes contact with the helmet, which will give us a stronger connection to the helmet. So not only are the, the horns going to be more uh, magnetically connected, but the actual magnets are going to be better connected to our helmet. So we'll keep this around. 
be very careful with high power magnets. I've seen some pretty crazy things happen. So uh, they shouldn't even be that close to each other. And it is what it is. I would recommend cleaning this, depending on how bad it is, either with the goo, goo gone stuff, if you want to get all the adhesive off, or at least rubbing it uh, down with the rubbing alcohol, a high percentage of rubbing alcohol to clean that surface before we attach the new magnets. And this one is the upgraded design, but it's using the thicker adhesive. I want to see if I can replace it with the thin one that we have on the other helmet. So we'll see how hard it is to get my version off. Oh man. Oh, whoo. Mm. I was thinking about uh, peeling the adhesive off and reusing the magnet, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. So actually I was able to get all of the uh, adhesive off the magnet it wasn't that bad it actually it sticks really harsh but it peels off just like it did with the helmet so that that was actually nice that this 3m stuff it sticks really well but it comes off if you need it to so let's clean this up real quick i'm using um 91 percent i think you can actually find higher than that if you look around but the rubbing alcohol will just help clean this up and get our oils and fingerprints and anything else that we have. Let's work on getting our magnets set up. So we'll take our thinner tape and cut a little bit more than an inch off. Very sticky. Grab our magnet make sure we have the right polarity. So this is where I recommend you keep the original nub. Where did it go? Or I can just match it against this helmet. So that's the right um, way right there. It needs to be magnetized where my fingers are, is where the adhesive needs to go. So let's gently clean that as well. So adhesive is gonna go on the top of that one. Let's check this one, and adhesive will go on the top of that one. Line this up as best you can. Now with it stuck on there, we can make sure we have a really, really firm contact on that one. And repeat for the other. So we made great contact with the adhesive. Now we need to cut the extra off. And that is why we have this. <laughs> Just so I, somewhere I can cut with a razor blade or whatever you're gonna use and carefully remove the extra. If you're someone who um, starts bleeding just by merely being in the presence of sharp objects, please be careful. Maybe have someone help you. All right, one done right there. One to go. All right, our new nubbins are done. So here, here's an original, and here is a modified. You can see it's about half, about half the thickness. And our adhesive is now going to be fully in contact with the helmet because of how we. Um, don't have it inside of anything else to prevent it from physically making contact. We'll take one of our already shimmed horns and place our magnet inside of it. It's almost exactly perfect, like just a half a millimeter does the adhesive stick out and because we have this wide opening, the curvature of the helmet, this ends up fitting absolutely perfect. So let's visualize where this needs to go. And it's more of a matter that both of them are the same. So I think right here looks good. Oh, 
Yep, that looks good to me. So push, put some force on this. Take the horn off and make sure that we've got this fitted down nice and tight. There we go. So you have an upgraded setup. You can stick these to your bike or your fridge. They're gonna hold on to any force you put them through. Again, check out the video description. That's where I'll have all the pieces and parts. Let it be known that I'm not um, saying these products are bad or anything like that. Just pointing out some of the weaknesses in their design and the fact that you can improve it if you need to like I did. And so I did all the work ahead of time by measuring everything, ordering different parts, trying out different experiments to come to this final version of my improved connections and just sharing that with you guys so that you can save yourself the time and money of either experimenting like I did or losing one of these like I did. So again, this is Patrick from Vicious Computers and I'll see you next time.